Hey guys, and welcome back to another train simulator video. Good evening, driver. Today you will be operating the 1D92610 London Houston to Holyhead and Wrexham General service from Chester as far as La Duno Junction. Today you will be calling at Chester, Rail, Colwyn Bay, and La, La Duno Junction. First, you will have to stop at Chester and then detach the rear half of the train. That section will be heading towards Wrexham General. At Chester stop at the first yellow bin on the platform or the marker on the HUD. Okay then. Currently got a red signal, but let's get the train ready. Three to four, that's on the correct lights. That's on the wipers. Too fast because it's quite raining quite heavily. Correct lights are on, which is good. We got a yellow signal now, so let's get going. I decided to do this scenario because it looked like the most interesting scenario out of all the class 221 scenarios so and, and it does involve us detaching the rear half of the train so I thought that would be pretty cool to do. We are driving a 10 car train so once we get to Chester we will uh, detach the rear half of the train so those rear fire carriages will go to Wrexham General and We'll take our five car train to um, Holyhead as far as Laduno. We got class 158. I'm not too sure what that's going to. Arriving at Chester. So we need to stop at that red marker arrow on the HUD, if you're wondering. Basically the first bin on the platform as you can see. The bin where... <coughs> the bin where um, they keep our uh, salt for the winter time when it starts to snow so... That's what they keep inside of it. I'm gonna start slowing down. Perfect. It will tell us to uh, detach the rear half of the train and then pull forward to the, I believe the first bin, or the second one. Got another class 158 there. We'll check where that train's going to in a minute. Now detach the rear portion of the train and then pull forward slightly towards the second yellow bin and pick up passengers. Okay then. Let's detach the train and let's move slightly forward. The second bin. Another class 158. Open the doors. So this train's going to Holyhead and the rear half of the train's going to Rex and Central as you can see. Not Central, sorry, General. I'm sure another driver will come over and take that over that service. Let's quickly check where this train's going to. This is a special service, so I'm not too sure where that's going to. Let's check the other class 158. Uh, where's it gone? There it is. Um. Doesn't really say where it's going to, unfortunately. I believe that's a terminus platform, is it? Yes, it is. Focus on class 158s. So we've got like a one or two minute wait to Chester before we depart.
No, is that train still here? No, not the fake train, the Class 370 APT train that all of you have been telling me in the first two videos. It's not here, I don't think. It, I'm, I swear it's meant to be here. Or maybe they haven't put it for this scenario. I'm not too sure. So I'm pretty sure it should be here. Yeah, I don't, I don't, I can't see it, guys. Maybe it's not available in this uh, scenario. It is just like uh, some senior anyway, so maybe they decided not to do, put it for this um, scenario for whatever reason. That's a nice screenshot. It's class two two one and one five eight. We should be ready to depart any time now, so... I think we're departing at 26, I believe. Yeah, 26. Now, we do have a red signal, so we can't really depart yet, anyways. So we're gonna be um Yeah, still the red signal, so we'll wait here for a while. Accuracy bonus 111. I think that's for stopping at that the perfect uh spot on the platform I believe. Hmm, are we allowed to go? I'm not too sure. Or is that gonna change to yellow? 2034. It's allowed us to go past it, so I'm just gonna go. I'm guessing it's fine. Okay, this next signal seems to be clear, so... Oops, we are speeding slightly, my bad. We've just lost a, a bunch of points, unfortunately, but oh well, what can you do? There goes our perfect um, point system. Yeah, it's a bit ridiculous that you lose that many points in the space of a couple of seconds. Just by going like a couple of miles an hour over the speed limit. At the end of the day, this is a game, so it shouldn't really punish you too much for just speeding a couple of miles more. Obviously, if you're going like 20, 30 miles above the speed limit, then you should be heavily punished. So we're going to be going via Shotson, low-level platform. Go via Flint, go via Presque Isle. Let's pick up passengers at Ryle. Go via Abigail and Pensam, pick up passengers at Kowal Bay and Laduno Junction. Yeah, with the speeding again. I'm not too sure why we're picking up speeding. We're not going down a lot, are we? No, we're not. That's interesting. Actually, we are going down now. We are picking up speed. Just realized. I'm guessing Shotton has a high level platform as well since it's saying going, going by a low level platform. 
I didn't actually realize that, so we might have to check that out once we get to our shot center. There's another branch line that goes that side. That, that might be going to um, Rex and General, I believe. Maybe. I'm not too sure. It might tell us on the HUD, actually. Um, yeah, it is going to Rex and down and up, so I'm guessing that's where it goes. So the other half of the train will be going towards uh, that station. I wonder how far Holyhead is away from uh, Laduno Junction. Because if it's like, I don't know, 20, 30 miles only then. I'm sure Duffel Games could have added it quite easily to its roots. But chose not to. I think we're going to put daylights. Okay, there we go. I had it on the mark lights, which I believe is wrong. I'm sure some of, one of you will tell me that I'm wrong again. But they are the daylights now, so that's fine. So many different lights, you know. Sometimes a bit too many, in my opinion. The clipboard lights. There's no clipboard though, unfortunately. We can put the climate control to fast. I'm not too sure that does, but we'll just turn it on anyway. We got the awful sounds for the class 2 to 1. I will try to get our sound pack from Armstrong Powers when they go on sale. the tilt uh, isolate button as well. I wonder if there's a snow where you have to change that. That'd be pretty cool. So we're pretty much going this via until we get to um the rail which is 25 miles away. I'm hoping the speed limit will go up to like maybe at least 90 to 100 miles an hour because this train is capable of 125 miles an hour easily so 25, 75 is a bit slow in my opinion, considering that class 21's run on this line. Yeah, Shotton does have a high level platform as well as you can see. Platform 3 and 4, so we'll check that out. I wonder where it goes though. In D marsh up and down. Interesting. No idea what that is. <laughs> is there a speed set in this train? That's what I want to know. Because the class 175 did have one, so... That's on the instruments lights, so why not? I'm sure this train has a speed set, surely. It would make sense, correct? No, it doesn't seem like it. That's a bit of a shame. Why does the class 175 have a speed uh, set, but this train doesn't? Unless that is it. No, it's not. Okay, the speed limit is going up to 90 miles now, which is good. We're going to be passing Shotton Station now. Very nice, very nice. 
So I believe there's a platform up here. Yes, there is. Interesting. And always there's um, steps from the low level platform to the high level one. Very nice. I'm guessing class 1 sound fires and 158s run on this uh, route. Interesting, nice to see. What are you doing guys? So I think it's for the speed limit change, I believe. I don't really see much out the window because of the rain, but what can you do in these conditions anyway? Not much. I guess you could play on our phone, but it doesn't work, unfortunately. Oh, let's have that. There is a free Wi Fi, that's something. So we are approaching Flint Station, which we're going to be going by as well. Only 33 miles left to our uh, Laduno Junction. Yesterday I did a service between, um, I believe, um, I think Flint to our uh, Laduno Station, I believe. I think it started at Flint's with the class 175, which is pretty nice to drive. I will do a scenario with the class 158 at some point, maybe the next video on this route. And then maybe I'll do a video on the San Francisco um, route, and maybe on the German route that you get with the train simulator 2018 if you guys want. You see? Oh, actually, we need to slow down, the speed of it change. Good thing I saw that, you know. Otherwise, our 500 points would be pretty much zero. Probably go to minus, actually. That's actually a thing in career mode. Getting minus points. There we go. Stream is going back up to 90. We've got another 13 miles to the next uh, checkpoint. checked if anyone's made any uh, uh, workshop scenarios for this route yet so maybe after this I finish this scenario I might go and check it out if any of you have released any steam workshop scenarios for this route then let me know I'll definitely be interested in playing it because I'm sure you guys can add a lot more AI and make the scenarios a lot more interesting Once again, the speed limit is going back down to 75. It does actually go up and down quite long, so doesn't it? I 
and it's going back up to 90. It's a bit annoying, in my opinion. I feel a bit sorry for the driver who has to drive this train in real life. Having to go from like 75 to 90, 90 to 75, 75 back up to 90, like non stop, like literally, it seems. Like, I don't understand why the, it just can't be 90 miles an hour throughout. 19 isn't actually that fast. And you probably won't even notice the difference between 75 and 90 miles an hour anyway, so. In my opinion. I probably wouldn't. Oh, we need to slow down. Whoops, my bad. Oh, there we go. Just in time. Completely forgot about to break, uh, break the train. And he's going back up to 90 and then back down to 75 again. Wow, look at that. That just amazes me, you know. How many times he goes up and down. Virgin Trains to Holyhead. And I actually know Virgin Trains uh, went to Holyhead actually. Eight miles left till we reach our next checkpoint. And 11 miles for our next stop. And just um, 25 miles left for Laduno Junction. in the scenario I can't say that apart from seeing a class some class 158s at um, Chester not Chester sorry is it Chester station we started at? I believe it was uh, yeah it was Chester station now was it crew or Chester yeah it was Chester I thought that was oh yeah because uh, the APT class 370s at crew station not at uh, Chester station that's probably why I couldn't see it. My bad. I was thinking that we started at Crew, but for some reason we started at Chester, so... My bad. I'm sure there's already one person commented that, saying that you should start at Chester and not um, Crew. Going along the... Coastline now. Let's watch the train fly past. Yeah, the horn is quite bad on this train. 
I will be honest. Oh, you're gonna be speeding. You're not gonna be speeding. Going up to eighty So three miles left to our next checkpoint and then I believe after that we will be stopping at um rail station I believe. Hey. At least there's one uh last one seven five that's nice to see. Is it rail? Yeah it's rail platform two. It's only six miles away so we do probably have to slow down eventually. Exactly, just under 20 miles away from Laduna Junction now. Okay, there's another speed limit change, so we don't slow down. But our next stop is only five miles away, so once we get to this station, it'll be around three miles away. So. Our ETA looks good, which is uh, nice to see. Hopefully we can get full points for arriving on time as well. So we've lo lost probably around, I think 76 at least, to 100 points on speeding. I believe. Or it could be a little bit less actually. Yeah. And the thing is, in train sim world, when you speed, you don't actually get penalized or anything. And there's no uh, career mode or uh, point system or anything like that, so it's kind of interesting that this game does penalize you for speeding. And Train Simulator is meant to be the more uh, simulated game as well, so that's kind of weird that you don't get punished on that game for speeding. Go on 12 points, I believe that's the maximum you can get for arriving on time, so that's good. Four stops left now. Apart from this one, which we're going wire.
Then about 40 miles speed limit as well, so... I should really know that because... I went down this line in the previous video with the class 1 sound file, so... I should know the speed limits. AWS to warn us for the speed change. And this is meant to be a hard scenario. It is uh, rated at uh, 5 bars and is red, so it can't get any harder than this. So I'm kind of expecting some red signals, but we haven't encountered one apart. We haven't encountered one apart from the one at Chester Station, which we've uh, approved basically. They allowed us to go past it, so yeah, it's kind of interesting. Too. It's quite a long platform actually, so should be good. We only have a five car train, so we'll start slowing down now. Oh, yeah, I forgot that the train brakes on this train are a lot better than the 175, so. Pretty much like two, three seconds later, that's okay. I do have another train though, I believe. Is there another train out here? Okay, maybe not. Screenshot. There we go. Oh, there's another one to our class two two one. Very nice. I want to get a screenshot with it. There we go. There we go. Take a look. Two screenshots. Very nice. That might be going back towards um, London Houston, I'm guessing. Okay. We're ready to park. Mind the doors. We go via Abigail and Penn's son platform. Not too sure what platform that is. Doesn't say on the HUD. And we move via, and we've got, a, we've got two stops basically left. One in 10 miles and one in 14 miles. The interesting thing is that we've already got 848 points, so that suggests that we can get like maybe like at least 1,100 or more points in this uh, scenario. Because we have lost pretty much around 50, 60 points anyway, so we should be already on 900 and there's still like 3 checkpoints to go, which we'll all get points for, so there shouldn't really be any reason why we shouldn't get 1,000 points, uh, 1,000. Maybe didn't even count it well, I'm guessing. Virgin trains. 
Would have been cool if they got the 10 car train to Holyhead, but. 5 car will do, I guess. I think 10 car would be a bit long of a train, in my opinion. Oh, this is a nice screenshot. It would have been a nice screenshot if I took it in time, but we've passed the bridge already, unfortunately. And once again, the speed limit is going back down to 75. That's great news, isn't it? I believe that's what the speed limit change, I think. We still got green signals all the way. To 960 points at this rate we should already have a thousand points but we did lose some points on speeding so well, we still got two destinations are left anyway so we should get a thousand guaranteed it's always nice Slightly. Let's try not to do that. Don't want to lose any points, do we? I think there will be a speed limit change as we get towards our next just our stop. Yeah, set back up to seven, down to 75. No surprise there. That is 75 miles an hour. Pretty much been that uh, speed limit for the whole route. ETA is saying that we are around 30 seconds early, which is good. All is good to be early anyway, so...
GTA is going uh, slightly up now, so... But we still no time anyway, so that's fine. We are going to be going down all now, so we have to keep an eye on the speed limits. We will be picking up speed. Going down the tunnel. One five eight in the Riva livery, very nice. Coming to our penultimate stop. Of a journey, so we're gonna be stopping at this station, Laduna Junction, and then someone else will continue it to Holyhead. Kind of wish we were going to, but I guess not. Maybe someone can make the extension to Holyhead. Maybe, who knows? That would be pretty cool. We've got around a minute and 20 seconds left. So let's start slowing down now. Five seconds early, which is nice to see. Open the doors. That's a nice screenshot. And that. Bunch of screenshots. I'll have a lot to choose from for my thumbnail. So our next destination, destination is around only four miles away. Shouldn't take too long. I think we're departing at 2104. And there you go, we got a thousand points out of a thousand. One destination left to go. Essentially this is like a two hour journey in real life, I would say. 
Because obviously this is a 610 London use in the Holy Head. Actually, we're not going to Holy Head, so it will take even longer than two hours. But London news them to our Laduno Junction will pretty much take around two hours. So we have to reach there at 2108 and we left Houston at uh, 610. Oh, it's really whoops. My bad. Well, there goes our 1000 points, but we should get them back by stopping at Laduno Station anyway, so we should be okay. But yeah, pretty much two hours has been since this train departed London Houston Station. And maybe another maybe 30 to 60 minutes to hold head, so it's a pretty long journey actually, in real life. Kinda of feel bad if anyone has to take this in real life. Spending like three hours, almost three hours in a, in a train. But then again, it is a nice train. And it has free Wi-Fi, so that's not, that's, not, that's not the worst thing, is it? We got like a bunch of cars here. Motorway. A lot of them are vans, which is interesting. Look, one van here, one van there. Pretty much they're all vans, which is kind of weird. Okay, got 75 miles on the speed limit and then down to 50. Really though, that's okay. Approaching Ladunos Junction. Here's pretty much fine to stop here. The three car stop is there, I think four to six cars is there, so I think we've stopped a bit too early, but that's okay. Don't think it matters too much. Oh, that's a nice screenshot. Very nice. Mad for IT. Interesting. Got a real ticket machine there. Smoking is not allowed anywhere on the station. Got a lift here. Got a three car stop here. Four car stop and six car stop. There's no five car stop though, is there? Because we have a five car train. Yeah, there's only three cars and four and six stuff, that's interesting. Anyways, we've still got a thousand points. You've gi yeah, I've given it an extra try, plenty of time to take over the last leg of the journey on towards Holyhead, well done. I would like to do that myself, but unfortunately, Ductile Games are not allowing me to do that. But anyways, a thousand out of a thousand, we sped a lot, but that's okay. We've still got a thousand, so it doesn't really matter too much. But yeah, that scenario was this one, five uh, star difficulty. Wasn't that difficult in my opinion, but anyways. So we got one 2 2 one scenario left, one class 1 summon fire left, and two 1 5 eight. I'll probably do a class uh, 1 5 eight scenario next. This is actually a two-part scenario, so I'll probably do part one on Sunday. So yeah, 
I'll end the video there. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you did, give it a like, share with your friends, and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.